What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and today what we are going to do is preview the week number six matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the New Orleans Saints. Now, before we get into this video, make sure you drop a like down below if you are excited for this matchup, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. We drop Jaguars previews, Jaguars recaps, along with crew casts and NFL picks four days a week. You don't want to miss any of that great content. Also, you can find me over on Jaguars Maven, which is a Sports Illustrated affiliated website where I write articles almost daily as well. So if you can't get enough Jags content here, you can find me over there at Jaguars Maven. The link will be in the description down below. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Jacksonville Jaguars versus New Orleans Saints. Week number six, preview. Now the big story about this game is the story that came out today and that was the points over under and who the favorite in this game was. Now the point line, I'm not much of a betting guy. I think that's what you call it. Is the line technically, you know how many total points are going to be scored, is at 45. And to me, that sounds like a ridiculous line. I definitely bet the under on that one. But the Jaguars offense, man, it's proved that it's been effective and it's been able to, you know, produce. But the Saints defense is definitely going to be one of the better defenses that the Jaguars have played all season. But then again, Carolina was also very stout on defense. And the Jaguars offense still managed to score over 20 points, which is something that we're not used to. So maybe the line is kind of accurate. And maybe us as fans are kind of, you know, playing it down a little bit. But that is the one thing that was surprising. And it's also surprising that the Jacksonville Jaguars are coming into this game as favorites. It's crazy that these odds makers are still counting the Saints out with Teddy Bridgewater. Like, that's crazy. Teddy Bridgewater is a guy that I will admit, if you are a Saints fan watching this, I dissed your quarterback. Because it was, there was a time when he was going to be a free agent or, you know, we were going to make some trades where, you know, a lot of people wanted Teddy Bridgewater to be a Jaguar. And I was not one of those people. I was like, maybe if the price is right, <clears throat> we'll sign Teddy Bridgewater, but I don't expect too much out of him. Teddy Bridgewater has gone out there and shattered expectations, just like another quarterback that we have on the team in Gardner Minshew. The Saints are one of my favorite football teams that aren't named the Jacksonville Jaguars. I respect the hell out of Drew Brees. Drew Brees is one of my favorite quarterbacks and you know I grew up my whole childhood and you know now my adult life watching Drew Brees play. So you know I have nothing but respect for Drew Brees. You know Alvin Kamara is always one of my favorite fantasy backs since he came into the league. And, you know, back in the, you know, last year with Mark Ingram, I was a big Mark Ingram guy too, but of course he left New Orleans. I also try to target Michael Thomas. Like, there's so much talent on the Saints team that this Jaguar team is going to have to shut down. And it is going to be a bitch trying to cover Michael Thomas. Because A.J. Boye is going to be on the call there. He's going to be the guy that's going to have to cover him. And Boye's kind of struggled a little bit, you know. he's He's let some catches happen on him that are going for 20 plus yards or so is he in right position yeah but you know those are those are plays that you need like a guy who's going to be considered like a top five corner top 10 corner in the league you know with the way he's played in the past he's played like that you know you expect him to against guys like dj moore for example last week against carolina you expect him to win like those one-on-one -on -one matchups and you know Having him go up against a guy like Michael Thomas, that makes me really worried because I don't think he's going to be able to, you know, shut him down necessarily. Michael Thomas is going to be a big factor, and he's probably not even going to be the biggest factor in this game. I think the biggest thing for the Saints offense that this Jaguar defense is going to have to stop is Teddy Bridgewater and his throwing out of the pocket, not necessarily him running in general, even though he is, you know, an he's an athlete, he's athletic, he can make those kind of plays. But, you know, I'm more nervous about him making plays outside of the pocket and being able to scramble, get some time, and make sure he delivers a good ball. And I'm also very nervous about Alvin Kamara because we just let Christian McCaffrey tear us up really, really bad. Really bad. Like, the worst, one of the worst rushing passing performances, like... The biggest domination I've seen of a player against our team and our defense in a long time. Like, since probably 
before 2017, like 2015, 2014, you know. I don't think this defense has been outclassed that bad in a really long time. And, you know, they're coming off that bad week. Hopefully, Miles Jack can rebound, really lead this defense, and, you know, be like, hey, guys, we need to make plays. And, like, the playmakers basically step up and make plays. Because this New Orleans Saints offensive line is also pretty solid. And they're going to be able to protect Teddy Bridgewater. They're going to be able to get him time to throw the ball. So the Jags are going to have to come out with a lot more than just a vanilla, you know, zone defense like they have came out with the past five weeks. Like, they need to throw more blitzing packages out there. They need to confuse Teddy Bridgewater. Like, this is the time. Like, and they should have done this more against Kyle Allen. You know, they need to cause some confusion for Teddy Bridgewater. They need to bring pressure. They need to bring more than five. They need to bring six. You know, they need to be able to cause havoc in the backfield. And that starts off with this defensive line. Hopefully Yannick Ngakwe, Josh Allen, Clayus Campbell, they all contribute. And then, you know, some of the depth guys as well that are, you know, could come up from underneath and perform well. Dewan Smoot's a guy that's, you know, I think played above expectations. He hasn't done necessarily spectacular, but, you know, this is his best year on record so far because obviously he's getting the most playing time he's ever gotten. So, I want guys like him to step up. Taven Bryan, who had a decent, I think it was week one or week two, he had a pretty decent performance there, you know, better than we all expected. I think it was week two against the Titans. He managed to get a sack. You know, you know, guys like Taven Bryan coming off the bench, being able to cause some havoc, being able to get in Teddy Bridgewater's face because that is something that needs to happen if we are going to win this game. We need to get pressure on Teddy Bridgewater in the secondary. He needs to hold up. These linebackers, you know, just don't miss assignments. You know what I mean? Like, Play smart defense. How much of this is the players not being in the right position? How much of this is defensive scheming? Again, we'll never know, I guess. But Todd Wash needs to call a really, really good game plan against the Saints. This is a game that I'm coming into expecting to lose, pretty much. Because the Saints team is hot. And, you know, once Drew Brees comes back, they're going to be even hotter. And, you know, Teddy Bridgewater, you know, the Saints are going to feel really good because they feel validated that this guy coming off the bench is going to be our quarterback for the foreseeable future. And we have a lot of confidence in him because he's going out there, he's playing good football. And it would be a really good time to be a Saints fan at that point. But this defense, it comes down to this defense and how well it performs against the New Orleans offense. I think that's the matchup to really watch out for because there's a, definitely an opportunity that the Saints can score really fast and the Jags just won't be able to keep up because this defense can't stop this offense for anything. We need to get some three and outs. We need to get some turnovers. We haven't had as many turnovers as we've had in years past. We need to get some turnovers. We need to cause havoc in the backfield, and this defense needs to step up and play good football. Now, on the flip side, the offense, if it continues to play well and it continues to maintain the same pace that they've been maintaining, then we should be fine. It's a big part of our defense this week to make sure that the Saints try to stay under, like, 21 points, under three touchdowns. Like, can we do that? Can we prevent the Saints from scoring more than 21, 24 points? Because if we can, I think we have the edge there. This defense is going to have to step up, play good football, and this offense is going to have to continue to play how they've been playing all season long. And that's just don't make mistakes. Gardner Minshew is that type of quarterback. He goes out there, makes the right throws, doesn't make a whole lot of mistakes. And if that continues on the offensive side of the ball, I don't see where we're going to really struggle in this game. However, however I say, the Saints have a solid defensive line. Cameron Jordan, obviously a perennial pro bowler, all pro, great defensive end. Guys like Cam Robinson, Juwan Taylor, Andrew Norwell, this offensive line is going to have to play better. This offensive line is going to have to play better. Give Gardner Minshew some time. Make sure that he has that time to make the smart read, to make the right throw, to be able to, to deliver the ball on time. And so far he has done that when given the appropriate amount of time to throw the ball. So this offensive line is going to have to shut down the Saints defensive line because it's going to be a key matchup for the Jaguars this week is that offensive line. Leonard Fournette, hopefully he continues to play well and continues to run the ball well because he looks like he's having another really solid season under his belt. He's top five in rushing. He leads the AFC in rushing yards. You know, DJ Chark leads the AFC in passing yards, which is awesome. Don't talk to me unless you have a leading receiver and a leading rusher inside of your conference. Do not speak to me. 
So I would say those two are going to have to be, you know, another big factor. And Gardner Minshew is going to have to continue to be the quarterback that we all know he can be and continue to deliver good balls and deliver them on time. This is a game that's either going to be real. See, the, if the Jags win, if the Jags beat the Saints, they are going. it's going to be really fucking close. Like, it's going to come down to a Lambeau field goal. It's going to come down to, you know, a last-minute drive by Gardner Minshew. Something like that's going to happen if we win. But I think if we lose this game, it's not going to be close. I think we get completely blown out of the water if we lose. I, it's going to be one of those games, and I really, really hope we don't get blown out of the water. I really hope we don't lose because this Jaguar team has so much potential to do some good inside this division. And, you know, and it's wide open still. You know, though the Colts won and the Texans won, they now officially have a game lead over us. The year is still young. We still have opportunities. We play the Jets and the Bengals back-to-back. Those are two games that we should win, and a win here against New Orleans will be gigantic. So this is a must-win for the Jaguars, but it's going to be a tough one. And you know what happens when the Jags have their backs against the wall. They usually fold. Hopefully they do not fold this time, and the Jaguars can get a victory over the Saints. And that was my Jaguars versus Saints preview. What'd you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, jet links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks or follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel four days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them's just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.